leaders and other important people from all over the world travel a lot. They go to other countries for important talks, humanitarian work, government businesses, and more. But they don't fly on the same kind of planes that you and I do. They fly in presidential planes that are specially made and equipped for operations, safety, and performance. And they often serve as an air command central. Even though we often see the U.S. president on Air Force One, other world leaders and other important people in politics also use some kind of official transport. In 2024, this video will look at some of the world's most impressive presidential planes. It will show you the best fleets and luxury planes that modern flight has to offer. At number 10, the Canforce One. The private Airbus A310 300s have been turned into long range, multi purpose jets for the Royal Canadian Air Force to carry people, freight, or medical supplies and refuel in the air are called the CC 150 Polaris. The official name of the VIP equipped CC 150 is CAN Force One. It is a VIP vehicle that the Prime Minister of Canada will use. CAN Force One has a kitchen a bedroom with a sitting area, an office, and a shower that is about the size of a small phone booth. There is a satellite phone, two computer workstations, and a small refrigerator in the executive suite. At the back of the plane is a normal passenger cabin for standard military passengers. At number 9, the Royal Air Force Voyager. The Voyager is special because it has aerial refueling for its own escorting fighter jets. The A330 multi-role tanker transport is a transport, an aerial refueling plane that is based on the A330 airplane. The Royal Air Force Bus A330 MRTT is the best plane for VIP needs of world leaders because it had been modified to meet those needs. This type of Airbus is very popular around the world, and more than 12 countries have ordered more than 60 of them. The standard layouts can fit up to 380 people or less for VIP standards in single and dual-class setups, but this plane has only been designed to have 58 seats for business class. At number 8, the Japanese Air Force One. The Japanese Prime Ministers have traditionally used a pair of 777s as their main planes. The radio call signs for the two planes are Japanese Air Force One and Japanese Air Force Two. The Japanese government also sends the Emperor and other high-ranking officials on trips outside of Japan on the VIP plane. Each plane can hold 140 people and can be used to evacuate Japanese citizens in an emergency or send members of the Japan Self-Defense Forces to work abroad. The Japan Air Self-Defense Force is in charge of the planes. At number 7, the Air Force 2701. There isn't an official presidential jet for the leaders of the People's Republic of China. The Air Force 3701 is the official plane for the President of the Republic of China, which is in Taiwan right now. It is built on a Boeing 737-800 and is flown by the Republic of China Air Force. Several parts of the plane were changed, including the front part of its body, and it also has a satellite so that people can stay in touch during the journey. Base aircraft are changed so that they can be used for presidential trips. At number 6, the Air India 1. The Air India 1 is the air traffic control call sign for any special extra section flight flown by the Indian Air Force on behalf of the President, Vice President, or Prime Minister of India. The VIP 777-300ER, with specifically customized liveries, entered service in October 2020, replacing Boeing 747-400s on these trips. The aircraft are outfitted with encrypted satellite communications facilities, advanced navigation aids, an advanced missile warning system, a missile deflecting shield, and electronic countermeasures to protect against any ground-based or airborne threats, as well as flares and glares that could mislead the missile. At number 5, the COTAM 001. The COTAM 001 is the call sign for any French Air Force aircraft carrying the President of the French Republic. It is also used for the Prime Minister, members of the Presidential Cabinet, or certain members of the government. Since November 2010, the presidential fleet has featured a renovated and particularly outfitted Airbus A320-200, allowing the president and his team to travel with greater flexibility. 
This jet includes a private bedroom and bathroom for the president, a presidential office and lounge, a secretarial area, a kitchen, a soundproofed meeting room, a communications room for encrypted message transmission, and a medical center. At number 4, the Conrad Adenor. The Conrad Adenor is used for important trips and diplomatic work. The plane is operated by the German Air Force, as it does all German government planes. The present Conrad Adenor is a former Lufthansa Technic Airbus A350-900 that has been changed into a VIP configuration for political and parliamentary operations. It has different rooms for private meetings, round tables and other activities. Other seats on the plane has been set aside for groups of people who usually fly with the VIPs. There are bathrooms and modern gallery tools in these areas, as well as lots of space to sit. Besides the changes that can be seen, the jet also has the latest radar and transmission technology. At number 3, the Ilyushin Il-96-300PU. The main plane used by the President is four-engined, long-range wide-body Ilyushin Il-96-300PU, which is a heavily modified Il-96. The last two letters of the name stands for Command Point in Russian. Five Il-96-300PU planes are currently in service with the Russian Federation and are ready to go at any time. Most of the time, these big planes can hold 262 people spread out in two classes. The plane is a heavily modified version of the standard Il-96. It has many safety and comfort improvements, such as modern communication systems and laser anti-missile defenses. At number 2, the Doomsday Plane. We all know about the Air Force One, but have you heard about the Boeing E-4B, otherwise known as the Doomsday Plane? Doomsday Plane is an unofficial denomination of a class of aircraft which is used as an airborne command post in an event of nuclear war, disaster or other large-scale conflict that threatens key military and government infrastructure. The heavily modified aircraft was uniquely engineered for emergencies, capable of withstanding virtually any worst-case scenarios thrown at it. The aircraft is also outfitted with thermal radiation shields and it is capable of flying for 620 hours straight without the need to refuel and it is equipped with 67 satellite dishes and antennas. At number 1, the Air Force One. A highly classified aircraft, the Air Force One is probably at the top level of presidential and executive flying, but most people don't notice it, so it is not as well known among the public. The model and make of the plane that takes the bus of the free world from one place to another is the Boeing VC-25. Air Force One has advanced secure communications equipment and gadgets that are hardened to protect against an electromagnetic pulse. This means that the plane can be used as a mobile command center in case of an attack on the United States. With this, the Buzz is signing off for today, but stay tuned for more exciting videos from the Buzz.